Hello everyone and thank you for joining us. Uh, this is Steve with Hunting Tactical and I have here the HT60 stock, the prototype that I've been working on and I want to do a video that went over some of the features of it and how to assemble it on the Marlin Model 60. Um, so just real quick, go through some things. I have here the stock receiver part and then we have a pick rail, tri-pick rail that uh, this goes on the front and it's adjustable Okay, so if you have a foregrip or something like this here, you know, you can adjust that so that it's comfortable. It has an industry standard buffer tube. Alright, so this is an AR-15 aluminum buffer tube. Um, the kit will come with a plastic one like this, um, but I've been using the, the aluminum one here to show that, you know, it is the industry standard and you can use some of those other accessories with it. You know, things like a single point sling mount go on there, you know, all of your, your standard stuff. <clears throat> we also, we have the uh, swivel, the buttstock swivel here. And this is probably the most uh, beneficial part of this, this stock, and we'll get into why in a second. We've got a pistol grip as well. Alright, and we'll go over how that's adjustable. Alright, so to get started here. I'm going to go over with how to, how to put it on. Um, one of the first things you're going to want to do is you're going to put in the, the Magwell uh, adapter here because we're putting it on the Marlin 60. So if you had a, the Marlin 795, you wouldn't put this in. Instead, you would put a washer right in here. <clears throat> okay, but uh, because we're doing the Marlin 60, we're going to put this in. So the way this goes is this just kind of goes in underneath and slips down in. All right. And then we're going to put in the trigger assembly. And then you're going to take your little washer and, and screw that uh, hold that trigger assembly down in. And you see here that goes right down in there. And just hold that. Now you just want to snug it up. You don't want to, you know, crank any of these screws real tight. You'll crack the plastic, strip threads. You just want it nice and, you know, just snug. So now that screws down in there. <clears throat> now I already have on this version put in the the nuts into the inside here. Um, you can see the the three holes there. You'll put nuts down in there to hold the pick rails uh, in place later. Um, I've already put those in. So your next step is you're actually going to line up the receiver here. So I have a newer Model 60 here, which has the mag release, or the bolt release, I'm sorry. And that's going to slide down in. And you're going to make sure everything lines right up. And then I start with the front bolt here. You're just going to... Screw that down in. Again, even though this is the actual mounting bolt for the gun, you're not going to crank it tight. Just snug. It doesn't take a whole lot to hold it in there. It's just a 22. Right. And then we're going to do the back screw here. do the buttstock. Now the buttstock, again, I've already put the, the nuts in, but you would put, you see here, there's uh, two nuts on this side, one on that side. That's for your three points of adjustment on the buttstock swivel here. So that's this piece. That's going to go on. And then you're going to take a, a screw, one screw and one nut here, the longer ones. And you're going to slide that down in there. And just slide the nut down in. And now right here, especially at this point, you want to leave that a little bit loose because you're going to want to do some adjustments a little bit later. 
Uh, so you want it to still swivel. See that? Now that, uh, that moves. And now, the reason for that is because if you look, and you put the industry standard buffer tube on, that's pretty straight out there. And, you know, especially if you did just the iron sights on it, um, your head's going to be, like, way up here trying to look over. So the nice thing about this, you know, if you had an AR-15, it would have that little carrying handle type deal and a front sight post riser up there. Um, you know, and that's so that, because your head is way up there, and that's what you need to see. So the way this does, it kind of changes that angle, and it brings, you know, the receiver actually up. In, instead of bringing your face down or anything, it brings that receiver right up. Uh, it makes it incredibly comfortable. You have three points of adjustment in there. You know, it's straight. You got a little bit of an angle, uh, and then you've got a, a significant angle there. All right. Um, well, we're going to just leave it straight for now, just for the assembly purposes. And we're going to just take one of the screws here. One of the again, one of the longer ones. Um, the Allen wrench that comes in the kit. And we're just going to snug it in there. Alright, now the next step is the actual buffer tube here. Um, again, industry standard, you know, you can take these things and they, they come out, the buffer tube itself, you know, comes out. So you just pull up any lever, that slides in, got six points of adjustment. Now where this does differ a little bit is the lock ring, right here. So you'll see the lock ring, you know, an AR-15 actually has this little ear on it here to lock it in. Um, on ours, that really became uh, very uncomfortable with the pistol grip down there, especially if it had it all the way out. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take this here um, with the lock ring. I put the nut on it, and we're just going to thread it in here. Thread down in, kind of get that lock ring and stuff pushed back. And then you're just going to tighten it down until it lines up. Push the ring forward, then you're going to just push forward your your um, castle nut there. Um, for this purposes, I'm just going to leave it kind of hand tight. Um, although you can, you know, put a spanner wrench on there and tighten that down a little bit more if you prefer. I don't really think it's that needed. All right. So the next step is going to be the actual pistol grip here. Apparently my nut wasn't in there. Take that down a little bit here. There we go. Alright. So. What I've got with the pistol grip, you see here there's these little, hopefully you can see this here, there's some little grooves on it. Alright, and those are going to lock into the little grooves on the, the mount here. Alright, and there's also this little ear here, and that's going to go into the, uh, the pick rail. Alright, so that allows it to the pick rail, or I'm sorry, allows the, the grip to adjust back and forth so that you can really get, you know, your trigger finger right where you want it, whether you're a youth hunter, a woman, um, or a man with bigger hands, whatever, um, you can really get that adjustment just right for you. Alright, so what we're going to do is just take it, set it in there. drop it. Oh, and you're going to want to put uh, one of your nuts in there. In the production version, this will be over molded. Um, but right now, for the prototype versions, 
um, and, and you know, entry entry production models, they're going to be, uh, you're going to have to hold that nut in there. So you just pick your spot. I like the, uh, the first one. And then I like the grip all the way back, okay, because you can change that rake angle and you can make it more straight up and down. Uh, again, three points of adjustment or straight back is more like an AR-15. That's what I used, you know, what I'm comfortable with. So that's where I like it. <clears throat> Alright, let me just thread that in. Take a little nut. Take again the same Allen wrench. Just thread it down again. Really don't want to crank this tight. Um, but you don't want this pistol grip to, you know, it shouldn't shake around either. Good and snug on that, but again, don't don't reef on it. All right, see, it doesn't have to move. And you can see here, yeah, I, I keep it right on the, the slot that lines it up. But you can go pretty much one back, one forward, um, and that really, you know, fits real nice and comfortably right there. So the last step that we've got to do is we've got to put on the pick rail attachment. This uh, this just comes here and slides down the front. You can see it's got the little support pieces there, the, the rail that it slides on. And you just line up whatever holes you want it on. So you got three holes, and you're going to put two of these short screws in, okay? Same size Allen wrench. Again, don't reef it tight. And you can see here I've got a little flashlight on it. Um, maybe you want something like this bipod here. We can put that on this for uh, the display. set okay so what I want to do real quick here is I just want to show you what it kind of looks like when it's uh, you know one different pivot point so we'll do it real quick so if you see I'm holding it I'm looking right over the top of that scope right now that's what's comfortable all right that's that's not comfortable for me obviously I can even you know move that back whatever so what I'm going to do I'm going to pop this this set screw out here And I'm just going to move it one hole. And run the test screw back down in. It's that easy. The, the Allen wrench that comes with the kit stores up inside the pistol grip, so you can make this adjustment out in the field or you know at the range, whatever, and it, the tool's right there. You don't have to carry anything extra. But you can see how much of an angle that put that at and now I look right through it right through that scope now my scope I do have a little bit of a riser on there to open it up to a standard weaver rail size um, you don't have to have that you can have it down there on the you know the airsoft size uh, rail that comes on your Marlin 60 um, one key thing again I want to go over this real quick and um, we'll put that out there is the tube fed magazine that is what makes this New York State Safe Act compliant. It doesn't detach. A detachable magazine, according or according to the Safe Act, an assault weapon is a, has to be semi-automatic with a detachable magazine. So the 795 is detachable magazine. That's an assault weapon in New York State, apparently. Okay, but because this doesn't, you can have all of these features that the Safe Act took away. You can have your pistol grip, your telescoping stock. This is also, it's 27 inches from the barrel to the end of the stock here. So therefore you can put a folding stock on this, upgrade it, and uh, it'll be still be compliant. All right. So uh, thank you everyone. And that is our HT60 uh, prototype.
Um, please t go on, pre-order them now at a great price. Uh, go on, join us at huntingtactical.com, like us on Facebook, Gun District, all that good stuff. Thank you.